So here we are in 2020 and I want to talk to you briefly in this video about some of my plans for the year ahead. So starting off with the obvious things like national trails, but what I want to start with in June is going to be the Cleveland Way, which I mentioned in the previous video actually, but that's going to be my main national trail for this year. The Cleveland Way basically circuits around the North York Wars and comes down the coast past Whitby to the end. It's about, ooh, how long is it? 100 miles or less? Probably a six day trek. I've not been anywhere near it in terms of being in the country in that area. And I kind of look forward to it. I've heard good things about it. It looks a bit varied with the four days on the moorland and two days on the coast. It should be good to look out for. Possibly in September I'll do another trail. That could be uh, possibly the Two Moors Way, which I don't have a book for yet. But I also want to try and finish off the Cotswold Way this year, which I've kind of I've done bits of it in the past with day walks and things, but I want to make a better effort this year to make it complete from start to finish. So it may not be a five day trek in one go. It might be a couple of long weekends and a few day walks here and there. It would be nice if I can do the whole thing and video it as well to get it on the, to get it all done properly. So that's two ideas for my year ahead. And yeah, that one, two more's way, which I'm going to try and do probably September time. And apart from national trails, I really want to go to the Lake District this year because I've not been before. That's a massive aim for me this time. I've bought this, well, this is a Christmas gift I got. It's the A to Z Adventure Series map. It gives you mapping, OS mapping for the whole of the National Park. So rather than buying four OS maps that cost you about 40, 50 quid to buy all four of them. This thing's about £10. It's not waterproof, but it gives you everything you should need, I think. It saves a lot of money if you're not, if you don't live nearby and don't really need to buy all four maps. Um, previously, they made a northern booklet and a southern booklet, but now you can buy them both in this, this one and save a bit more money and stuff, but it should be really useful. My plan currently is to go there in March. Um, Nothing's confirmed just yet. I'm trying to go, I'm trying to arrange it with someone else, but it's not, again, the idea is there, the interest is there, but it's not yet confirmed, depending on when we can get time off work and that sort of thing. And yeah, it should be good, really good if I can go there for a week or six days, something like that. I've not been anywhere near it, to be honest. So that's a few ideas as far as walking goes. Another Christmas gift was this book on hill walking by... Steve Long. So I've done a bronze navigation award uh, in the Bracken Beacons a couple of years ago. That kind of got me interested in this idea of going for qualification. I've not done much with that since, but I do a lot of walk leading with two walking groups. So I'm thinking this year maybe I'll do a bit more towards getting a recognized qualification as a walk leader. Maybe not a mountain leader because I'm not really that bothered about doing ropes and mountain leading, that sort of thing with groups anyway, but for hill and moorland stuff and even lowland leading. I only found out a few months ago or a few weeks ago that um, you can go for a moorland leader award without doing the full mountain leader. So you just apply and register for your qualification and that's, you only have to go so far, you don't have to go and do the whole thing, which I thought you had to do, but yeah, this book is pretty, pretty detailed. You can see it's pretty thick. There's loads of info in here about weather patterns and looking at the groups and all sorts I need to kind of study over time. But something I'm going to try and work towards. It may not happen this year or next year, but I'm going to try and slowly build some. I'm going to build some progress towards getting somewhere with that, I think, because I've now got my commitment to Bruno Walking Group in Bristol, which is a Ramblers group. I've been with them leading walks for over six, seven years now. And also this year, or back in November, I started my own meetup group called West Super Walkers. And that one is less official, it's kind of more, you know, there's no insurance behind it. I'm not covered for anything if someone gets hurt, but with all the hours I spend leading group walks and organising things, I think it may be worth getting a kind of qualification to back things up with. It's not essential by any means, but I think it could be beneficial for many people. So away from the UK stuff, I've had thoughts about going abroad and doing some walking, which everyone always says to me I should do at some point. The couple of ideas I've had so far would be to either walk the Tour de Mont Blanc trail, which I know a few people have done, 
or it would be to go to the Atlas Mountains because look at the price of things. You've got things like Kilimanjaro and Everest Base Camp there looking at, you know, three and a half grand to go over there. And I just could never afford that, unfortunately. And whereas to go to the Atlas Mountains with a tour group, you're looking at 700 quid roughly for a five, six day trek, which is much more appealing, obviously. And I know some who've done that, they've enjoyed it as well, but I don't know if anything will happen this year. But it's certainly on my mind to do one of those two, ideally with a tour group, like I was saying, because I don't really have much confidence in self-guiding myself around a foreign country with different languages and things. But um, if I could find someone to go with, then maybe I'd reconsider that option. It would probably save some money as well doing it by yourself, but you still got to get there and back and negotiate foreign lands and that sort of thing, different rules and regulations about what you can and can't do on public land with access and that sort of thing which I'm not currently aware of plus speak the language as well I suppose and it's an idea it may not happen this year but it's, it's something I've been thinking about for the last year or so and apart from that I would like to do some more YouTube meetups in the, in the UK I've talked to a few guys in the recent months about doing the meetup at some point again we've made no sort of final commitment towards that but hopefully this year we can do some more meetups and walks and things as time goes on I'd really like to do that actually um, well I think otherwise that's my fairly brief list of how my year is going to go uh, feel free to let me below let me know below in the comment section what you're doing this year and uh, thanks for watching I hope you had a good year planned